Today I'm talking about household item hacks and how you can get some really cinematic shots with stuff just from your home. This is the first one, known as the stool slider. Essentially works like this. You take it, find the angle that you want, get the shot that you're wanting, slide. And it's pretty simple to achieve. All you really need is a household item that has these like spongy things on the bottom and a smooth floor. And the cool thing about these um, chairs is that they can change their height. So it's kind of like a tripod slash stool. It's definitely a stool. It's not a tripod. Okay, the next one is my favorite. And this is the cooking light or the pot light or the bowl light. I did this in a video before and I was so happy with how it turned out. And it's like one of the simplest lighting tools that I've ever had. Most of us maybe don't have like the big aperture 120Ds or the thousand dollar lights or the $2,000 lights that are out there. But if you have enough money to buy like a hundred dollar little light, I'd highly recommend it. It's a piece of, gar it's a garbage bag, or it can be like a shopping bag with a light bouncing into a pot. This is like a little pocket light from Aperture. Absolutely amazing. There's so many great things you can do with this. Um, you can angle it inside your house to create like cool spotlights over things. Um, you can even just use it as like its own sort of handheld device and just create like these nice like cinematic or you can shoot yourself with it. The problem is with most of these pocket lights is if you use it direct onto you, it, it well, so the first thing you could do is take this and put like your, your garbage bag thing over top and use that as its own sort of soft box. In fact, if you don't have any pots and pans in your house, you could literally use just like a scrunched up garbage bag over top of your light and that creates some sort of nice diffusion, but I feel like it doesn't spread the light properly. So this is where this is where the pot, pan, or mixing bowl comes into play. You grab the mixing bowl, and then you put it at the base using the light as sort of the balancing thing, and it creates this beautiful like little ring light, and since the inside's all tin, it's not gonna be a fire hazard. As long as you're using a reflective thing, you put the light in and balance it on. The bigger the bowl, the better, and it creates like, like its own makeup tutorial ring light. And if we put the garbage bag over top, I folded it twice, or if you're using like a plastic, like a plastic grocery bag, just use one or fold twice, depending on what diffusion you like. This is a very simple, janky, but incredibly effective lighting setup. If you're on the road, you're traveling, and you want to have a setup no matter where you're at, a cheap $100 light reflected on the inside of a mixing bowl, pot or pan, and uh, a garbage bag is super effective. When it comes to me making videos online, I'm always recording voiceovers, I'm always capturing that audio. But one of the toughest things is when you're shooting in apartments or bedrooms, um, you don't have the podcast style audio that you want. And the simplest solution that's super effective, I literally do this for every single one of my videos, is I use the Rode video mic on top of my camera, and then I actually just lay on a bed. And the audio that I'm saying gets like picked up by the bed, diffusing the reverb and actually not sounding that bad. So if I just, a quick example is the audio that's playing now. So it's a really good, quick and dirty solution to recording voiceovers. And if you're a traveling filmmaker or perhaps you just don't have the voiceover studio that you want, recording it laying on a bed is a really quick and dirty solution. The other way, that seems super weird, you use a blanket over top of your head and the audio becomes like a hundred times more diffuse. So it's kind of like you're having like a slumber party with yourself and the microphone, I guess. This is the audio recording um, under the blanket. And this is the audio being recorded outside of the blanket so you can hear the difference. It looks super creepy from the outside, but this is how I've recorded voiceovers for many documentaries, my short film Freelancer, for example, and nearly every single one of my YouTube videos. But if you don't want to be like a hot, sweaty mess while recording your audio, this also totally works. So that's it, folks. I really wanted to show you guys, I'm putting this back onto the 
the stool tripod. I really wanted to show you guys that you don't need all the bells and whistles to make good stuff. And in fact, the over amplification of having the best tools is one of the greatest hindrances to creativity. I don't know if hindrance is a word, but I think you get what I'm saying. So whatever tools we don't have, there's always some sort of simple solution to solve that problem. I created a video about that, which you can check out in the description below, but household items are actually secret filmmaking mechanisms in disguise. For example, I can use my cell phone right now to prop my camera up so that the angle's a little bit more flattering and better. Or I can just spin this around. Oh, that's trippy. That's super cool. These stools, I think, are gonna be like on my filmmaking toolkit. Every set I go to, I'm just gonna bring one of these stools and be like, don't worry, we've got a tripod, a camera that pans, and also a slider slash dolly that can go anywhere that has a nice hardwood surface. So I want this just to motivate you and get you going for creating stuff. If you like the things that I'm babbling on about and wanna learn a little bit more about some filmmaking hacks and techniques, you guys can like this video, subscribe to this channel, hit the little bell. There's a bunch of little things for you to do, um, or you don't have to do any of them. You don't have to do, well, you can do whatever you want. Um, but it would really mean a lot to support uh, and love to this channel. It really helps and uh, I absolutely love talking and engaging with you guys. So that was it, a little fast and functional way to create uh, content with very minimal stuff so you guys can just get started, get going, and start making some fun stuff. Make, keep making some great stuff. I love you. Panning shot.